Have you ever gotten lost in a maze? Felt hopelessly tangled, walls closing in, no escape? Well, get ready to have your mind blown, because scientists just discovered something way crazier than any maze you've ever seen. Imagine mazes, not in some theme park or kids game, but hidden deep inside the atomic structure of super weird crystals. Crystals so bizarre they shouldn't even exist according to the rules of science. In the realm of crystallography, a startling revelation has emerged. Scientists have stumbled upon intricate mazes within crystal structures. These aren't your everyday playground labyrinths. They're atomic scale enigmas that challenge our understanding of matter itself. The discovery sends ripples through the scientific community. It's a cosmic puzzle box waiting to be deciphered. The story begins in a nondescript laboratory. Researchers were peering into the atomic arrangements of quasi-crystals. These are materials that defy conventional crystalline order. What they found was nothing short of extraordinary. Hidden within the atomic lattice were complex maze-like structures. These mazes weren't random. They followed patterns that seemed to dance on the edge of chaos and order. The implications of this discovery are profound. It challenges our fundamental understanding of crystal structures. For centuries, we've believed that crystals adhere to strict, repeating patterns. This new finding throws that notion into disarray. It suggests that nature has more tricks up its sleeve than we ever imagined. As we delve deeper into these crystal mazes, more questions arise. How do these structures form? What governs their intricate patterns? The answers could revolutionize our understanding of matter. They might even lead to new technologies we can't yet fathom. The journey into these atomic labyrinths has only just begun. The structural complexity of these crystal mazes is mind-boggling. We're not dealing with simple repeating patterns here. These are intricate arrangements that defy easy categorization. Imagine a dance of atoms, choreographed by laws of physics we're only beginning to grasp. That's what we're seeing in these quasi-crystals. At the heart of this complexity lies a concept known as a periodicity. In traditional crystals, atoms arrange themselves in patterns that repeat at regular intervals. But in quasi-crystals this periodicity breaks down. The patterns still exist but they don't repeat in the same way. It's like a cosmic jigsaw puzzle where the pieces fit together perfectly, but never in the same arrangement twice. The symmetry in these structures is equally perplexing. Quasi-crystals can exhibit five-fold symmetry, something long thought impossible in crystal structures. This symmetry creates stunning, Penrose-like patterns when viewed under an electron microscope. It's as if nature decided to play with mathematical concepts we once thought were purely abstract. The bizarre nature of these crystals extends to their physical properties. They can be harder than their periodic counterparts, yet more brittle. They can conduct electricity in ways that defy our current models. Some even show promise as thermal insulators, potentially revolutionizing energy efficiency. Each new property we uncover adds another layer to the mystery. The discovery of these crystal mazes forces us to rethink our definition of crystalline order. For centuries we've operated under the assumption that crystals must have a repeating periodic structure. This new finding shatters that paradigm. We're now faced with the task of redefining what it means to be a crystal. This paradigm shift has far-reaching implications. It affects how we classify materials, how we understand their formation, and how we predict their properties. The lines between order and disorder in material science are becoming increasingly blurred. We're entering a new era where the boundaries of crystallography are being pushed to their limits. The challenge now lies in developing new mathematical models to describe these structures. Traditional crystallography relies heavily on group theory and periodicity, but these tools fall short when dealing with quasi-crystals. We need new mathematical frameworks, perhaps drawing from fields like topology and a periodic tiling theory. This redefinition of crystalline order opens up new avenues for materials design. If we can understand and control the formation of these maze-like structures, we might be able to engineer materials with unprecedented properties. The potential for innovation is enormous, limited only by our ability to unravel the mysteries of these atomic labyrinths. The implications of this discovery for chemistry and materials science are profound. We're not just talking about a curiosity of nature here. These crystal mazes could revolutionize how we approach material design and synthesis. The unique properties of quasi-crystals make them candidates for a wide range of applications. One area of particular interest is catalysis. The complex surface structure of quasi-crystals could make them highly effective catalysts. 
their unique atomic arrangements might provide active sites for chemical reactions that traditional crystals can't match. This could lead to more efficient industrial processes, from petroleum refining to pharmaceutical production. In the realm of electronics, quasi-crystals offer intriguing possibilities. Their unusual electronic properties could pave the way for new types of semiconductors. We might see quantum devices that leverage the unique quantum states possible in these materials. The potential for innovation in computing and telecommunications is staggering. Materials science stands to benefit enormously from this discovery. The unique mechanical properties of quasi-crystals could lead to new structural materials. Imagine lightweight yet super-strong alloys for aerospace applications, or self-lubricating materials that could revolutionize mechanical engineering. The crystal mazes we've uncovered might just be the key to unlocking these technological marvels. As we delve deeper into the world of crystal mazes, the enigma only deepens. Each answer we uncover seems to spawn a multitude of new questions. It's as if we're peeling back layers of a cosmic onion, with each layer revealing new mysteries. The journey into these atomic labyrinths is far from over. One of the most pressing questions concerns the formation of these structures. How do atoms arrange themselves into such complex patterns? Traditional models of crystal growth fall short here. We're left grappling with new theories that blend concepts from physics, chemistry, and even information theory. The answer might lie in the realm of non-equilibrium thermodynamics, a field that's still in its infancy. Another mystery surrounds the stability of these quasi-crystalline structures. In theory, they should be less stable than their periodic counterparts, yet we find them occurring naturally in some alloys and even in certain meteorites. What forces are at play to maintain these intricate arrangements? The answer could revolutionize our understanding of atomic interactions and material stability. Perhaps the most tantalizing mystery is the potential for undiscovered quasi-crystalline structures. What we've found so far might just be the tip of the iceberg. Are there even more complex atomic mazes waiting to be discovered? Could there be three-dimensional analogs to the famous Penrose tiling? The possibilities are as vast as they are exciting. As we stand on the brink of this new frontier in materials science, the future looks both challenging and exhilarating. The discovery of crystal mazes opens up a vast landscape of research possibilities. It's a call to arms for scientists across disciplines to come together and tackle these new mysteries. One promising avenue for future research lies in the field of quantum materials. The unique electronic structures of quasi-crystals could lead to new quantum phenomena. We might discover materials with topological properties that could revolutionize quantum computing. The potential for breakthroughs in this field is enormous, limited only by our imagination and ingenuity. Another exciting prospect is the development of new analytical techniques. Our current tools for studying crystal structures were developed with periodic lattices in mind. To fully understand quasi-crystals, we need new approaches. This might involve advances in electron microscopy, neutron scattering, or even entirely new technologies we haven't yet conceived. As we push forward into this uncharted territory, the implications extend beyond pure science. The potential applications of quasi-crystals could touch every aspect of our lives. From more efficient solar panels to advanced medical implants, the possibilities are vast. We stand at the threshold of a new era in material science, where the boundaries between order and chaos blur, and new wonders await discovery. The journey into the heart of these atomic mazes has only just begun. Lost in the science? Don't worry, the subscribe button is your way out. And hit like to leave a trail for others.